Hi, I'm Anya Sico again with uh, Dr. Virgilio Novero, the past president for the Philippine Society for Reproductive Endocrinology and Infertility, which is now the Philippine Society for Reproductive Medicine. You're also a trustee with the Philippine Obstetrics and Gynecology Society. He is the only Filipino on the board of the Asia Pacific Initiative for Reproduction and the overall chair for the 2020 Asian Regional Conference, which will bring 2,000 fertility specialists to the Philippines. Is that correct? That's correct. Wow, Doc Novera, that's so much. That's a mouthful. And you are our first male interviewee for today, which is why I'm rather excited. Relax. Um, so my first question for you, Doc, is because we've been talking a lot about the couple in reproduction for today, um, at sa kultura po natin, alam naman po natin, ang Pinoy ay medyo, you know, may, meron po tayong tendency maging macho ng konti. Okay? So ang tanong po natin is, should men be ashamed of infertility? Should we be ashamed of the concept of yung pagkabaog? Well, they better not. <laughs> because the male normally contributes 57 to 60% of the cost of infertility for a couple. So if they're not going to admit or recognize that, then the evaluation of the couple will be incomplete and they may not be treating the infertility properly. So the answer there is that every time a couple presents with infertility, the man should also come forward because they would probably be as much to blame as the woman is for their cause of infertility. They should undergo evaluation. So ano po yung mga naging experience natin, Doc, with men um, going through this? Kasi ang na-discuss po today, for example, is very, uh, a lot of the times, yung babae lang po yung pumupunta that's sa correct. clinic. And that's ano correct. po yung experience nyo with them? Yeah, that's very correct. I'm a fertility uh, doctor by profession, firstly for the female, because I'm an OBGYN. But over the course of time, I became also a, fair, a, a very a very intense specialist for the male side, normally it's really the woman who comes forward. Mm -hmm. And many times it takes several proddings before you could convince some husbands to come forward. Uh, normally this is related a little bit probably to socioeconomic status. Mm -hmm. So those who are a little bit more educated come forward um, um, sooner than those who are probably not educated. Mm -hmm. Siguro nga it is related to the Filipino macho image mm -hmm. na they cannot admit or accept that they can be the reason for their being uh, baog. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi po yun, ano, it's, it shouldn't be a factor. Tama it should ba? not be a factor. They should overcome that, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, embarrassment mm -hmm. or, or something they have to accept it because if their goal is to get treated, it is quite possible that they might be contributing to it. Mm -hmm. um, Nagpanggit po kasi kanina that uh, the aggression and enthusiasm for the process is a big factor for the success of having a baby of, or conceiving a baby. Do you agree with that po? I yeah, mean the... Yes, I, from that question, talagang uh, fertility, um, fertility treatment can only result after a lot of uh, meticulous uh, follow-ups and monitoring and you should have probably the patience and the perseverance to go through it. Some are lucky they only take a few visits but others may require a few months or even years of, of follow-ups and treatments before they reach their goal. Mm -hmm. So again they have to be aggressive, they have to be intense and focused and especially if they are told that certain factors need to be addressed quickly over time because uh, they may be under time pressure. Thank you so much for that, Doc. Uh, so we'll go to the question that came in from our audience. Ito po yung tanong nila. My husband was diagnosed as low sperm count and low motility or no good quantity and quality sperm. He takes lots and tried varied brands of medicines, but nothing works. Please help us. He's 36 and I'm 37 years old. We are running out of years, wishing it to happen for us to have a baby. Please, please help us. Thank you. I was mentioning earlier, Doc, Parang sometimes may pagka-desperate na rin po yung couples at this point. What would you recommend for them? Yeah, there are two strong features of the question I see. One is the age of the woman giving them a deadline. So that's correct. If she's already 37 years old, she's at the edge of her fertility where soon, sooner, very soon, 
her fertility potential will be declining rapidly. So if she reaches that, any form of treatment, whether basic or advanced, might already be in peril. So they have to be more focused in their uh, desire to get treated. Yun naman sa lalaki, and you said that he has low count. We must quantify it. Uh, the, the approach to treatment for male infertility depends on the severity. So there are cases where for minimal to mild uh, sperm defects, the treatment may be simple natural intercourse or the minimum actually should be artificial insemination. However, for more severe causes of infertility, uh, more causes of male sperm defect or male infertility, then they might require uh, more aggressive approaches some like uh, sorry, assisted reproductive technology or in vitro fertilization followed by intracytoplasmic sperm injection. So they need to be assessed. Uh, what, I, what came through my mind was they may think they have low count, again they don't know to what extent it is low, and then they were hoping that medications will work. There's a good chance that without, without sperm defect, medications will not work. So we really need to, they really need to go to the clinic and see what is the extent of the sperm defect and see if they should already go to the advanced treatment. I don't think it will already work if they stay conservative. I see. So aggressive na po dapat yung yes. behavior for that. That's so very helpful, Doc. Thank you so much. Sana natulungan natin yung mga couples na maraming tanong tungkol sa fertility. Thank you for joining Baby Goals, Doc. And... Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for more information to help you meet your baby goals.